Yo, 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 what's going on, gamers? It's your boy iMaverick, aka Mr. Touchdown Glitch. And no, I am not the best Madden player in the world. I'm alright, though. All glory to God. Back up on this auction block. As you can see, all of our auctions sold. Look at them coins at the top. Speaking of coins, make sure you check out your boy's sponsors, buycheapmuckcoins.com. Link down in the description. Use that promo code iMav at checkout. Saves you 5%. Now, uh, everything sold, man, uh, from last episode. If you were here, you saw we put a, put quite a few things up on the block. And uh, we got it all to sell. Uh, so we're sitting, we're sitting pretty on the coins. So now it's time to check and see if um, we can find us uh, an, an uh, Atwater or a, or a uh, Ronnie Lott. So, any snipe action going on? Oh man, there's a ham for 88k. That would have been a beautiful one. You see, that's about to expire too. I believe we spent one oh over a hundred on ours. Alright, I'm good on all that. Alright, so let's go stopwatch. Let's go free safety. Uh, Broncos. 1.4 milli. I don't know if I could spend that much on him. Especially because I don't think it would even cost us that much to do the set. But let's double check. Let's go ahead and double check. Oh, and I didn't even check the comment section of last video. But I got a few tweets. I guess when we were searching for Ronnie Lott, there was one. Now I'm looking. I don't see one right there. So there's no Ronnie Lott up right now. Um, he is a strong safety, right? <laughs> um, because <laughs> I got some tweets of people telling me that there was a Ronnie Lot up there, and I was like, "Oh crap! I already know. If I miss something like that in the comment section, it's gonna be nothing." But bro, there's a Ronnie Lot right there, as if we even had enough coins to get him then. But that alone kept me out of the comment section. Uh, yes. All right. Strong safety. Uh, no lot. Okay. But, um, okay, so I guess we still just try and up the coin some more, which is cool. Uh, I actually saw, I actually saw a comment of someone that said, um, how do you transfer the card from account to account? And it's really simple. Uh, you just want to do trades and I might actually show you guys that here. It's nothing complicated. We'll, uh. We'll pull Ronnie Lot stats up right now while I do it. So you just gotta. And someone also made a really good point in saying that you um I'll get taxed twice if I just sell the stuff on Wifey's account and then you know just buy. So basically, how I would do that is. I would sell the sell the stuff on Wifey's account, get the coins, and then on my account, I would put up like a stadium for like, let's say I had 100k coins on Wifey's account, I would put a stadium up for like 100k, uh, and then I would buy that stadium, and then I would have the coins. Uh, but they're all, I would get taxed on that purchase though. You know, EA has their tax every time you you pay for something. So someone made a good point on that, or a few people actually made a good point on that. So. Uh, good thinky on. So, oh, so now we are on Wifey's account. Alright, so, <coughs> and I don't know. <coughs> I might just do it for the elites. Um, and then maybe some of the, it depends what kind of gold she's got, too. So we got, ooh, a COA, that's nice. Alright, so we got four elites here. 
oh, you can't trade these bad boys. That sucks. So we'll keep this until maybe we get six on Wifey's account. But, uh, so we'll just put them up for trade. Doesn't matter. Two days is fine. And this is this isn't something a lot of you guys will have to even do. Really, only if you have two accounts. And the only reason I can see you having two accounts is maybe to uh, the same reason I open on on my wife's account is to take advantage of the really good bundles that you want to double dabble in. Um. So I'm gonna have my head open. I'm I'm gonna search a few of these these golds see if they're going for anything like this Sam Shields 15k that's worth trading that's as much as some of our elites what's this guy's first name Ryan Khalil and again, I'm not going to show you guys the actual mudhead stuff because that uh, it would take long for me to just keep switching back and forth. Y'all know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, going over to mudhead, searching them, seeing what they got the Xbox One price as. Simple as that. Um, but while we're here, when I do find guys that are like, you know, 5K-ish, we'll just put them up. Because uh, I'm not going to sit here and transfer every card from Wifey's Binder. Because that would take a while. But someone that's worth selling, we'll, uh, we'll transfer them. Warlids. Worlds. Worlds. Yeah, 3K. I'm gonna put them up. This is gonna be a real grinding episode. Uh, not the not the most fun one, but we're gonna get a lot done. So with stuff like this, I pretty much just go with, with what what Mudhead says. Uh, Nate Allen, I wouldn't pay much for your card. I'm gonna just keep it real with you, bruh. Mudhead has him at 5,500, so we'll put him up at like 5k. Yeah, I mean, if we get all these little sales, though, I'll, I'll definitely make a difference. The Fitzpatrick Elite. If you guys watched my, uh, the Elite Fitzpatrick, if you guys watched my pack opening with my daughter. Ugh, he's going for 23. I feel like at one point this Wissen the Wasuki guy was decent. Oh, maybe I lied. Someone lied to me. Twenty six hundred. Mangold. Mangold. 2400 uh, one thing you could do too for people that um you know you don't want to sit here and look up all the prices or you just don't got the means or you know it might take a while just get out of my face um something you could do Ooh, I didn't know we I forgot we had these uh these old legends over here See what Mike going for. 75K. Holla at your boy. We're going to trade him. <clears throat> um, Sergeant Largent reporting for duty. Largent going for a cool 6, 6,200. I'm going to trade him, though, just because I don't know how close I am. To completing his set might be fun to do but all right it's so like Fitzpatrick what you can do is you can you know is it a chance someone gets a really good deal and you lose out on coins yeah uh, but it's it's there's also a chance that you know someone knows the value of it 
and uh, it'll kind of get bid up to where about it's worth so you know you could just switch the buy now <clears throat> to 10 mil and then just throw it up a little bit you know what I mean give it like a quick 1,000 start and then just let people bi uh, bid I know a lot of people do that which uh, which which isn't a bad deal you know you don't got to go through and and search through stuff we already know what Fitzpatrick's worth though so all right let's go a few more sixty four hundred nice nice see this stuff going this stuff's gonna add up man Ooh, okay. What you going for, Mr. Peters? <coughs> Twenty six hundred for Jason Peters. That's a that's an atrocity. 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 Atro atrocity. Atros. Atros. Atrocity. 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 How do you pronounce that? Atrocity. That's an atrocity. Uh, atrocity? Hold up. Let's listen. Atrocity. 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 Okay. <laughs> I do that randomly when I just, I don't know. I don't know how to say stuff. I Google it. I'm weird. The Vitre. Uh, what's he going for? 8,300. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so we're going to put him up for like eight. We grinding, man. See, when you don't do solos, this is this is your grind. When you open a lot of packs, you can consider this your grind. Just going through all these people. I forgot how much... Mr. Mango went up for. Make sure you check out my other channel for daily uploads and thousands of videos that you can't find over here. And if you like this clip, make sure you click the annotation to subscribe. Link is also in the description. Oh yeah, they give you speed boosts. Gives you speed boosts. Yeah, and they give you bonuses too. Like, it's like XP thing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing actually. Like, I want to do it, but I, I'm not near one right now. I just figured I'd tell you. Bro, I already saw the little. Boom! Atomic Donkey Punch! Lay it down! <laughs> Atomic Donkey Punch! Let's go! I finally got my first little knife thing. Good thing donkeys don't punch. They don't have arms. <laughs> Alpha always gotta be a <laughs> hater, yo. I mean, you could say... Oh, I'm so MLG! Guys, I'm on a nice little clip. We gotta send this off to them. I just got a UAV. I swear to God, I'm gonna get... Bro! MLG me! Oh, Lane. Twelve hundred. Spence. Twenty seven hundred. Let's just let's look through. See if we got anyone else that's a sleeper. Cause at one point I don't I'm gonna stop doing this. I'm not gonna do this for every single player. Cam Newton goes for fifty three hundred. Like I want to get around the the the, the five thousand mark, three four thousand still makes sense too.
Nope. Uh, Brainy. Nope. 1400. Uh, what about Demarcus Ware? Demarcus Ware, 2500. There we go, Percy. <clears throat> Percy's going for 6,600. According to Mutthead. Throw him up for a smooth 6K. Smooth 6K. Daryl Washington's um, 2000. Doug Freeze, 1100. Might not have anyone else. Might be time to start quick selling. RG3 go for 2K. That's nice. Yeah, alright. So now... Let's make sure we don't have no collectibles we want to transfer, and then we will uh, start the quick selling. Oh, all these dang unused turkeys. No. Oh, I just forgot these were on her account. Those could have been a nice come up. I just move. I mean, let's do the math. 5K on all those. I just completely forgot she had those on her account. Oof. I know some of you guys that don't get to dabble with very many coins. Y'all looking at that just. And a, and a, and a tear just fell like. <laughs> All those coins. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little salty about that. <clears throat> um, and the reason I didn't sell them earlier, I remember I saw them once. But I was like, man, we were doing quite a bit of double dabbles. I was like, yo, I might have enough for that cornucopia pack. Uh, if we just keep opening on wifeys. And just slip my mind. And how many gold badges does it take to do a large quick sale? I might test my luck. I might test my luck again. Depends on how many we got. Uh, I always forget where it's at. Is it the vault? I wonder if we have any, if we even, oh, we don't even have any silver badges. What the heck? We ain't got no bronze badges? Oh. I guess we'll just chill out for a sec then. I wish I would have known that. I need to pay attention more. As I was just throwing them in that dang collection, probably could have transferred those over. <coughs>
all right I'm just go ahead and sell all the bronze but again kind of like we talked about on my account we could keep these and throw them into sets because there are sets for the bronze stuff um, if I was super super thirsty for the coins I would do it um, not saying that I don't care about the coins I just don't care that much to go out and fill all them sets Ain't nobody got the time for that. If they had like a faster process, like, like if you could just go to the set and instead of having to eat input like each card individually, if you could just be like fill all available slots or something like that, and it just whoosh, like filled all the ones that you had that match, that would be fresh. That would be a fresh little thing. Then I would probably do more sets like this. But the fact that I gotta take the time to do all that. Mm -mm. Man, even these quick sales add up. You'll see once we get into the uh, the silvers and the golds, like quick selling adds up nice. There we go, almost done. Alright. <clears throat> Even came up decently on just those. Oh, we don't have very many silvers, dang. Alright, since we only got two silvers, let me just search these guys. Make sure they don't go in a set and are like sleepers. Cause some of them silver is a mess around and go for 10k or more. Nope, 200 for uh, Austin. Three hundred. All right. They get quick sold. Alright, so I'm going to I'm gonna flip this by over. I'm going to go to the bottom. But as I scroll through, if you guys notice someone that you know is just like a heavy hitter that I might be missing, you can let me know in the comments. So I won't sell all the golds. We'll come back and sell the rest of them. I'll just do a few at the bottom that I might that I think might not go for anything. Just so you can see how this the gold sales can add up. 5,000 right there. You see that? And we got 160 gold players. <clears throat> so you see, we just go through. Uh. Uh. How much did that McCoy go for? Oh, what the heck is it, Lashawn McCoy? I guess he's the um. Oh, he's one you just got. Oh my bad. Never mind. See, forty-seven hundred. Um, all right, we'll do one more batch. One more batch.
Alright. Oh, come up. Oh. Alright, so now. I was just. This last one, I was just searching AJ Hawk. Oh, look, and we had some of our guys sell, or one of our guys sell. I was just searching AJ Hawk. We go back, change profiles. <coughs> Switch on over. for the trade <clears throat> we gotta go trade block and now me and my wife's uh, uh, our account with their friends so then I just search for friends only oh someone got that amount up there okay uh, so then we just offer trades for each of these players so of course we're gonna put like you know uniform stadiums nothing nothing of value really Julio. YOLO. I don't know who this is. We're going to make an offer on this, too. Let me just make sure. Okay, Mon Green is going for 140K. Man, you better get this, uh, you better get this, uh, you better get this, uh, we won't disrespect him with a bronze. Get this Nate Allen, man. <laughs> uh, that was just to do it. <coughs> All right. Uh, so then you have to, you got to do, it, it's, it's kind of a long process, which is why I didn't want to do it, but, and after you do that, you got to go back to the original account, and you got to accept the offers. And after that, we'll wrap it up.
auction and trades my trade block all right we're good all of them have one offer so it's not even confusing you know typically if you're offering up like elites and other good cards um, no one's gonna offer you someone that doesn't know you isn't gonna offer up like a contract or uh, a playbook or or a stadium for it so if you do have more than one bid it's usually easy to uh to still tell which one is yours because it's usually a decent bid or at least someone trying to match value so you can either take that or just you know what i mean obviously trade with yourself but i guess it could be smart to note which which uh car you traded with in case someone tries to trick you But that's it. All right, so we accepted all this. Now on Wifey's account, it's going to show she got all these new beautiful uh, jerseys and playbooks. And if we went to my account, it would show that we have all of these beautiful new elites. So, uh, but again, we'll we'll end this here. We've already been a long series, but or a long episode. But you saw we definitely got some work done. Um, you know, put some good cards up or put some cards up that'll definitely add up. We did a little bit of quick selling. And you got to remember, we got to go back on our account and still quick sell. And I'm also probably going to double dabble in these uh, Game Changer bundles on both my account and Wifey's account. So we should have a new new just um, uh, new wave of cards coming in for us to flip for even more coins. So appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Till next time, God first, God bless.